Hello and welcome to the 24th video lecture of quantitative techniques semester 3 model number 1. In today's video lecture we are going to discuss about regression. This is our fourth problem on regression and today's problem is little different from the one that we have solved in our earlier classes. So the problem goes like this. From the following data regarding the amount of rainfall x and the production of rice y. Find the most likely production corresponding to the rainfall of 40 centimeters. Take R equal to 0 0.8. So R is nothing but coefficient of correlation. Data has been given. Rainfall in centimeters, production in quintals, mean variance. So 35, 25, 50 and 64. So this is the problem that they have given us and they have asked us to find out the most likely production corresponding to the rainfall of 40. They have also mentioned that rainfall is x, take rainfall as x and production of rice as y. If that is the case uh, they have given, let us assume the same thing what they have given. The rainfall is shown as x, production is shown as y. Fine. So mean of x, this is mean of x. So this becomes x bar equal to. Fine. Mean of x. That is mean rainfall. Rainfall is x. So mean of x. Similarly, mean of y. Here. So this is y bar equal to 50. Fine. Next, variance of uh, this rainfall. That is variance of x. Now what is variance? Variance is nothing but standard deviation square. Standard deviation is represented as sigma. Sometimes they might give you a standard deviation. If that is the case, then you have to write only sigma. Hmm? But here they have given you variance. So variance is nothing but sigma square. Fine. Sigma square. But this is not only sigma square. This is sigma square of x. Similarly, here you have sigma square of y. So this is these are the values that they have given us. x bar, y bar, sigma x square, sigma y square. So, and the value of R. So, these are the things that they have given and we will just note down what is given. Let us start solving this problem. So, given x bar is given, x bar equal to 35, y bar equal to 50, sigma x square is 25 and sigma y square, sigma y square is 64. Fine. Also, they have given us R equal to 0. 8. Fine. So this is given. Let us start solving this problem. We need the regression of y. We need of y on x. Why do we need the regression equation of y on x? only not on x on y means y, y on x only is needed not x on y so see here what do we need to find first of all you have to see what they have asked us find the most likely production so we have to find out production what is production y so y equal to question mark it is right when x is equals to this you can write this to find hmm? y when equal to question mark when x equal to 40 that is rainfall is 40 rainfall is x so x equal to 40 this is what we have to find out now x value we know we have to find out y value so we need an equation which is of the sort like this way y equal to something we have to find out so y on x it is so that is why y on x we are finding out fine y on x only one we need so b y x now we cannot use the previous formula of uh, n into summation x uh, y minus summation into summa summation x into summation y because we do not know what is summation x summation y but instead we know what is this Sig variance has been given now first uh, we know that b y x has one more formula b y x is equals to r into sigma y upon 
sigma x hmm? because we need y on x we are finding out b y x y on x this is a regression coefficient of uh, y on x is equals to r multiplied by y on x so y on x y is on x fine so y on x but sigma y equal to square root of sigma y square fine which is equal to square root of 64 equal to 8 sigma x is equal to square root of sigma x square which is equal to square root of 25 which is equal to 5 fine so these are the values of sigma y and sigma x they had not given us directly values of sigma y and sigma x that is standard deviation of x and standard deviation of y instead they had given us variance so first we have found out sigma y sigma x now we'll substitute this formula uh, this values in this formula so b y x equal to 0 0.8 into sigma y is 8 divided by sigma x is 5 sigma x is 5 sigma y is 8 so this is equal to 1.28 if you solve so b y x equal to 1.28 very quickly you have found out this so the problem will be very small not much of calculations and now the remaining procedure is same what we had used in our previous problem that is now regression equation y on x so y minus y bar equal to something multiplied by x minus x bar first y terms then x terms y first x next so b y first x next okay so y minus y bar y minus y bar y bar they have already given there y bar is 50 equal to b y x is 1.28 we have found out here multiplied by x minus x bar is given x bar is 35 so solve this y minus 50 equal to 1.28 into x is 1.28 x plus into minus is minus now 1.28 should also be multiplied with 35 few students miss this point so 1.28 into 35 is minus 44.8 now what we are doing is we are in the next step we are sending this here and this 50 okay keep only y here so y equal to 1.28 x minus 44.8 this comes here this side so this becomes plus 50 so y is equals to 1.28 x solve this minus 44 plus 50 using your calculator plus 5.8 Two. So this is your regression equation of y on x. Now they have asked to find what y when x is equal to 40. So now if x equal to 40 then y equal to substitute this 1.28 into 40 I am substituting x here plus 5.2 so y equal to just multiply this and see what will you get if you multiply this you will get it as 51.2 plus 5.2 which is equals to 
56.4 so this is your final answer fine so 56.4 fine so this is your answer this is how you have to solve this easy one i'll just go through this here remember this variance has been given sometimes they will give you standard deviation also if they give you standard deviation then this is directly sigma x and sigma y values so no need to do this step see here they have given if they have given standard deviation then this becomes sigma x this becomes sigma y so no need to do this directly you can substitute in this formula okay and once you uh, if they have given say, variance like this and this you have to first find sigma standard deviation by finding the square root of it and then substitute it b y x equal to this way you will get okay uh, remember r is needed r sometimes they write it after this table so be careful to see the entire problem it will be written somewhere okay once you find b y x regression equation same uh, again everything will be there steps like where the previous problem y minus y bar equal to b y x into x minus x bar y bar is given x bar is given b y x you have just found out substitute solve it then substitute the value of x when y is equal to this and you have to find out y value again okay that is 56.4 in this problem so with this uh, this problem is over we shall take one more problem in today's class so the next problem what we are taking today is this it is a very simple problem like our previous classes problem it is everything is solved and given to you in a bivariate data x equal to uh, summation x is 30 summation y is 400 summation x y is 850 summation x square is 196 summation y square is 46500 n equal to 10 estimate the value of y when x equal to 5 this kind of problem has never been asked in your rcu examination but may come for 5 mark section also never know so just I'm going through this solution. This is a very simple problem. In fact, what they have done, if you see this, uh, observe this very carefully, instead of giving you the actual values and then when they give you the table X and Y table, what you were doing is you were finding summation X, summation Y, summation XY, summation X square, summation Y square. All these things you, you used to find out N value and then you should uh, used to put it in the formula of regression coefficient. These all things you used to do. But now there is no need to do all those things. What you have to do is directly table values, the down values, whatever they give in the table, whatever you form find out that has been given to you. So now you have to just put it in the formula and substitute and find out. What do we need here? Do we need a regression equation of x on y or y on x? That first you have to find out what is to be found out. Here, all data is given here. See here, estimate the value of y when x is equals to for you so y equal to question mark is there that means y on x is needed okay so we need need regression equation of y on x so First thing is after the table you used to find out x bar, x bar is nothing but summation x upon n which is equals to summation x is 30. So 30 upon n is 10 should 3 then summation y equal to some x bar sorry y bar equal to summation y upon n which is equals to what is summation y summation y is 400. 400 divided by 10 which is equals to 40 now find out regression coefficient of y on x y on x because we need y on x only okay so y on x means y comes first x comes next is equals to n into numerator is same n into summation x y minus summation x into summation y divided by on x so x terms will come only down n into summation x square minus summation x the whole square so this is how you have to remember the formula now 
समय बी बाई एक्स एल जस्ट सब्सिट्यूट एंड फाइंड आउट द वैल्यूज बी बाई एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू एन वॉट इज एन इक्वल टू एन इज इक्वल्स टू टेन एन इज टेन सो टेन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय समेशन एक्स वाई समेशन एक्स वाई इज यल एट हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी माइनस समेशन एक्स वेर इज समेशन एक्स यल इट इज समेशन एक्स इज थर्टी इंटू समेशन वाय फोर हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाय एन इज टेन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय समेशन एक्स स्क्वेर समेशन एक्स स्क्वेर इज यन हंड्रेड एंड नाइंटी सिक्स समेशन एक्स द होल स्क्वेर समेशन एक्स इज यग so 30 squared which is equals to 850 into 10 is 8500 minus 12000 this is what you will get now b y x equal to 8500 minus r uh, 12000 that is minus 3500 divided by 1960 minus 900 is 1060. Okay, 1060. So which is equal to nothing but minus 3.3. So b y x equal to minus 3.3. This is what you have got answer. Now the next thing, regression equation. Regression coefficient we have found out. Now we will find regression equation. Y on x. I write the formula first. Y terms equal to x minus x bar x terms. Why? Because y on x first y then x first y then x. So y minus y bar equal to something multiplied by X minus x bar. Okay. Once you do that, you have to multiply it by y x first y then x. So y minus what is y bar? Y bar they have given here. We have found out in fact that is forty. So substitute that. Minus. So the which is equal to b y x is minus three point three multiplied by x minus what is x bar? Here we have found out x bar is equal to three. Open the brackets. Y minus forty equal to minus three point three x minus into minus is plus three point three into three is nine point nine. Then, so next step is you have to send this here forty. Hmm? This is minus forty. This becomes plus forty when it goes. And what is remaining here? Once it goes, it is only y. So y equal to minus three point three x plus nine point nine plus forty. So y equal to minus three point three x. Plus forty nine point nine. So this is your regression equation of y on x. Once that is done, the next step is you have to find out what they have asked you. Estimate the value of y when x equal to five. So when x equal to five, they have asked you. So if x equal to five, then Y equal to just note it down minus three 
पॉइंट थ्री एक्स प्लस फोर्टी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन सो वाई इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री पॉइंट थ्री इंटू फाइव प्लस फोर्टी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन सो इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्सटीन पॉइंट फाइव प्लस फोर्टी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन सो वाई इक्वल टू वॉट विल यू गेट माइनस जस्ट यूज द कैलकुलेटर माइनस सिक्सटीन पॉइंट फाइव प्लस फोर्टी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन इट इज थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट फोर so this is your final answer okay 33.4 so with this we have covered today's boy uh, this uh, lecture if you have any difficulties you can always contact me in this problem just what we have done is everything was solved and given to us we have just found out whatever we do the steps after the table so after the table whatever we do that only we have done fine so if you have any difficulties or if you are not getting the answer if you are getting a different answer please contact me and ask me if you have any doubts okay with this we end today's lecture